あなたは駅でまた道に迷ってそうな外国人を見かけます以前は声をかけられなかったんですが今回は勇気を出して声をかけてみます外国人は案内してほしいと言ったんですが駅での乗り換え案内をどう説明したらいいか分かりませんこの場合どうすればいいんでしょうか皆さんこんにちはユークネックのアーサーですこの動画では誰でも簡単にできるアメリカ人も実際に使う駅での道案内方法をご紹介します This video is actually number two in the 道案内 series. In the last video, we learned how to go up to someone and ask them if they're lost and to offer some help. If you haven't checked out that video before, you can check it out right here. But now you finally talk to them and they said, yes, please help me. In the last video, we learned that you start giving directions no matter where you are with this phrase. Where do you want to go? Where are you headed? And then they're going to tell you where they want to go. Now, most people think that giving directions is really difficult. But actually, if you follow a simple pattern, it's very easy to give directions. The first thing you do is to say where you are now and where they want to go. Just to double check. You can say something like, okay, so we're in Shibuya now and we want to get to Tokyo Station. This makes it very clear so that you're not making any mistakes. This is a great way to naturally confirm that you heard from them correctly and also gives them a good idea of where they're starting and where they're going. And then after that, you can follow a simple pattern for giving directions each step of the way. The first part is to say from and then the place they're currently at. So if we're going from Shibuya to Tokyo Station, you could say, From Shibuya, and now because they're going to take a train, we say take or get on. From Shibuya, take the Yamanote line. And then we say how far they're going to take the train. From Shibuya, take the Yamanote line to Tokyo. To make it even more clear, you want to say the direction of the train. Nani ho men ka o? In this case, you could say, from Shibuya, take the Yamanote line towards Shinagawa to Tokyo. Towards means the direction, and to means until when. But there are a lot of trains, and sometimes it's a little confusing. So you can tell them the color of the train. It's easier that way. You could say something like, From Shibuya, take the Yamanote line. It's green towards Shinagawa to Tokyo. If you say this, it's very detailed and easy to understand. It may be a little bit difficult at first, but please try to practice this by yourself. Remember, the only things you need to say are from Shibuya, take the Yamanote line to Tokyo. All the other extra stuff just makes it more clear. So if you're having difficult time expressing it, saying it, just say those three things where they are now, how they will get there, and where they're going to. Now, this was pretty simple. It was just one step. But what if there's more steps? What if you have to do norikae? That's pretty simple too. You follow this exact same. Pattern. Instead of saying take, you can say transfer to. For example, you could say from Shinjuku, transfer to the Chuo line towards Tokyo. Now, there's another problem that many people miss. In Tokyo, there are many train companies, and to go in and out, you have to pay or get a different ticket. When I first came to Tokyo, this was so confusing. I was looking at the metro map. And trying to find a JR station. And when I couldn't find it, I was so confused. But nobody told me the right way to use the trains. When you change a train company like JR to Metro or Metro to Tokyo, it's really important that you explain to them they have to exit the gate and come back in. For example, you want to go from Hiro to Shibuya. In order to do that, you need to transfer from the Metro to the Yamanote line. How do you say that? 
The first step is to go from Hiro to Ebisu. From Hiro, take the Hibiya line, it's grey, to Ebisu. And at Ebisu, you need to make the change, right? At that point, you can say something like, from Ebisu, transfer to the Yamanote line. You need to exit the gate. By saying you need to exit the gate, they know they need to leave the gate and go into the JR line. At that point, you can say, from Ebisu, transfer to the Yamanote line. It's JR, so exit the gate. Because you're saying it's JR, so exit the gate, they know that it's a different company and they have to leave the gate. I'll tell you, if someone told me this ahead of time, it would have been a lot easier. So if you find someone and you need to say this, please try to use this phrase. Did you like this lesson? I'm developing a great complete guide for you to learn everything about Michiannai. Not just stuff that you can think about, but stuff that you can actually use. In addition to just this video, there's going to be a lot of written things and there will be opportunities for you to practice what you've learned. For more information, to get the guide, you can click up here. Let me ask you a question. For Michiannai, what is difficult for you? Please tell me in the comment box below. Until next time, enjoy your English adventures. Bye. みなさんこんにちは。ユークレックのあ。このどうかではだれでもてははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははは